Hi guys, so um, I have no makeup on right now because I just got out of the shower and I'm preparing to pack for my trip tomorrow. I'm going over to Korea for a week so I heard it's really cold there and I have so many things on my mind to pack. I don't know what to pack yet. But a few days ago I just went to Forever 21 and Uniqlo to get do some like last minute shopping for my trip and I got like some stuff, not a lot but I'm just going to show you. Okay, first I went to Uniqlo uh, to get some of their heat tech, heat tech um, clothing basics. Uh, I do have long johns, but I feel like I, I don't feel secure with just my long johns, you know. So I decided to get like one basic top in white. I really have it, it's a turtle neck. I really have a scoop neck in black. Like I'm just show you, just beside me right now. Okay, uh, I really have this top and. Honestly, the the basics of Uniqlo, they are really thin. And at first I was just skeptical about how they would keep me warm. But then again, but then after I purchased their hoodie, and it is a re also a really thin material, and it did keep me warm. So, I think it will work. I guess it will work, and I hope it will work. Yeah, so I got this white turtleneck. Yeah, as you can see, the material is really thin. Yeah. I'll probably wear this, like, over my long johns, yeah, to keep me really warm. And then I also got this pair of leggings, which is also um under the same range, a heat tech range of products. And it's really thin as well. Yeah, let me show you. Yeah, look at this. You can actually kind of see through, right? Yeah, look at this. So I'm not sure like how warm will I be with these on, but. But it's a good investment, I guess. I heard good reviews about them, and it will. And actually, they were on sale. They were, I think, quite. I forgot how much I purchased them, but they were on sale, and that's how I co how they convinced me to buy them. Yeah. And then I went to Forever Twenty One and got like three tops. First, I got this long sleeve striped sweater thing. Yeah, which is some kind of a, like a knit material. And I think it look it will look really cute with like leggings and it can be layered over my inner wear so I think it'll be perfect. And then um I got this knit sweater. This in stripes too. Oh my god, what's up with me in stripes? Okay, never mind. Yeah, this ginger and um or brown and ginger in colour. It's really cool. It, it looks like you can, I can snuggle in it like on a lazy day and I'm going like sightseeing or something. Yeah, I think this would be perfect. Yeah. And the last one that I got, I kind of, which I don't think I'll wear this in Korea just because it's really like, like absurdly thin and it's like three quarter sleeve. Which I don't think will work if I wear them over my my inner wears and which are which are long sleeves by the way. So, but I can wear this like back home, back in Singapore anyway, since it's pretty lightweight and it's yeah pretty cooling I guess, not very thick. Yeah, and then oh, I'm gonna just gonna do a mini haul that mini haul of today. I bought some stuff at a L'Oreal warehouse sale, actually. I just wanted to go up to like take a look. I didn't really like have the intention to buy anything, but there was so such great deals that I just can't resist some of the stuff, you know. So the first thing I got is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Ah, sorry, the lighting is bad. Oh, yeah. L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Um, this foundation has been a lot around for quite some time. I've seen this ever since I was like, um. 14, 15, I don't know, really long time ago. And it used to come without the pump. And I think this is like the new formula. It has like hydrochloric acid. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's the one that keeps your face moisturized and everything. And I tried it on, it's like water based, so it's quite light. Like, um, so I decided to give this a try. I think the, the usual price is around like 20. Thirty dollars, twenty five dollars around there, but I got this for fifteen dollars. Yeah, I think it's a good deal. And then I got some makeup removers. I was running out of makeup removers, and I thought of going to um going to Korea to buy a good makeup remover, a removal over there. 
But then I saw like uh, makeup removers on sale. I was like, oh my god, I can't resist. You see, um, I bought the Maybelline Total Clean Absolute Makeup Remover. It says that it instantly dissolves makeup in one gentle swipe. It removes waterproof mascara, transfer-proof lipstick, and long wear foundation, and sort of full face, for full face. Yeah, and then this is two for ten dollars. So, um, I don't really want to buy two of these because I haven't really tried them before. So I also got a total clean eye and lip makeup remover. I think it's like water based. Or is it oil? No, it's water based. Yeah, I'm excited to try these out. Uh, I'm not really sure of Maybelline's makeup remover, and just because I did on sale, so I guess I can give it a try. I think I'm gonna use this over my trip, and if I don't like it, I can always get new makeup removers over there. Since like Korea is like the makeup and skincare heaven, right? I don't know. Their products are quite amazing, I would say. And then the last things that I got are the Maybelline. Um, lip balm. This one is the tinted one in the color cherry. This one is the most pigmented one out of all the uh, tinted lip balms. And then I also got the um, original flavor, uh, original formula, which is the clear one. Uh, the person said that this is more moisturizing than this one, so I decided to get this. Because, like, you know, over in Korea, I think it would be really cold, and my lips tend to get really, very dry. And since I'm running out of my Nivea one, I decided to get give this a try. These are two for five dollars. Like, how can I pass that right? So I decided to give it a shot. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's my that's my haul. These are these are basically everything that I want to show you. So okay, I'll talk a little bit about my trip. Okay, I'm going over to Korea tomorrow, and actually. I went to Korea last year, so uh, the only reason why I'm going back this year is because my family wants to go. My family really, my siblings really want to ski and I don't know, <laughs> I'm not really excited about skiing just because I think it will be really tiring. I heard that it's like you, you have to take your heavy skis and climb up the slope for like 10 minutes and you take like 5 seconds to slide down. So like basically the entire day will be really tiring, so. But I guess like... I should still be excited about it, and I hope it will be fun. And okay, like last year, I uh when I went to Korea, right, I was really excited to shop there because, like, you know, Korea really has really nice um fashion and clothing and everything. But I end up then, uh, I end up not getting much stuff just because, like, I find that the things there are not are not cheap. I I believe that I can get them cheaper elsewhere, and also like um. I didn't, I didn't, there was like a language barrier, so it's a bit hard to shop for me. So this year, I'm going to bring my calculator with me. Where's my calculator? Okay, I don't know where is it. But I'm going to put it in my bag. And then, yeah, just because like, you know, you got to communicate with the shopkeeper. Sometimes they don't really know what you're saying. So you just key the number into your calculator and you will put it back. And, and this year, I hope to just... Um, go there and relax, and then find some inner peace, and, um, I still hope to do some shopping. I hope to get, um, I hope to get a nice pair of high-cut sneakers. Yeah, I heard that the range there is a lot better than, um, than Singapore. Uh, I hope to get... I hope to get a sturdy backpack that is cool enough for me and also dressy enough to wear with all my dresses and stuff. Girly enough. And I hope to buy some skincare products as well. I hope to get like, like a good cleanser, check out some new brands and buy facial masks. Yes. I don't know, Korea has really nice has a really nice range of fa facial masks and I really foresee myself bringing back quite a bit. Yeah. So in all, I, I guess I'm generally quite excited. Just be, just that you know, I hope I don't freeze there. I'm packing like I'm going over to the North Pole. If you can see, I don't know. I have a huge luggage right there. I don't know, and there's my huge S winter coat. Yeah, yeah. So this is the last video that I'm gonna make before my vacation. So I hope that all of you guys are having an awesome, awesome holidays, and I wish you. Um, an early ha Merry Christmas? I don't know. I hope I make another video by then. But yeah, Happy Holidays everyone and see you next time.